Welcome to Open for Business. Mapapanood nyo rin ang programang OFB sa Facebook at YouTube. Mag-like at mag-subscribe sa aming social media at Net25 TV. I am Cesar Valleo. So welcome to Open for Business. Samahan ninyo kaming tuklasin ang iba't ibang pamamaraan kung paano mapaunlad ang inyong negosyo. Aalamin din natin sa mga eksperto ang mga pangunahing trends at mga estratehiya kung paano natin mapapanatiling ang inyong negosyo maliit man o malaki ay maging laging open for business. It's not easy to establish a food business that will eventually be a household name in the Philippines. But it's not impossible. After all, the ingredients to a successful business are free. Curiosity, market research, risk-taking, innovation, and originality to name a few. Join us as we learn from the man behind the French baker, the Chatime franchise in the Philippines, and Pinoy Tasty, Professor John Lu Koa. All this in this episode of Open for Business. Ito ang Net 25 Primetime News. Matatag! Matapat! Matapat kasama sina Alex Santos, Emma Tiglao at Vic De Leon Lima. Mata ng Aguila. Lunes sa Gambiernes, alas 6 ng gabi sa Net 25. Welcome to Open for Business. Today we have Mr. John Lucoa, founder and CEO of the French Baker and the president of Phil Baking. Magandang hapon po sa inyo, Sir John Lu. Magandang hapon, Cesar. Um, Last week po at sa uh, ibang mga pagkakataon ng na pag-usapan namin dito ay tungkol sa tuna at sardinas. At uh, napakaganda naman ang inyong pagbisita dahil tinapay naman ang ating pag-uusapan. Minsan po kasi nung kabataan ko ay pinapalaman ko ang sardinas sa tinapay. Hanggang ngayon, okay pa rin yan. <laughs> Hanggang ngayon. Trending pa rin. Yeah. What is there in Pandesal that makes you young looking, jean -Lu? Naging president ako ng Phil Baking. This is the association of big bakers in the Philippines. Such as Marby, Gardenia, yung mga ganang big names, no? Uh, Tiffany, Uncle George, uh, Walter, uh, Sari, Sari Roti, etc., etc. Uh, even, uh, let me mention, MLM, Fortune, Cindy, Zian. We got together dahil... Um, 12 years ago, may threat ang industry na ubusan tayo ng flour. Mm -hmm. So we thought that we should come together, put our interest together, and make sure that the baking industry uh, survives the crisis that was then prevailing. There was a lack of flour in the market. During that time? 12 what, years ago. 12, 12 to 15 years ago. Years what ago. was causing the flour? Uh, to, there, was, was uh, there were too few millers okay. and too many bakers. Mm. So we started coming out to talk about the problem and we attracted investors. Mm -hmm. Investors heard our call and they saw the numbers and since then there must have been almost six or eight new millers that came in. I so lumaki ang buy, lumaki ang supply mm -hmm. ng From flour. two to... No, from more than 10 to now about 20 na. 20. Big and small. And where are these millers? Ah, in the Philippines, uh, mostly Different in areas. NCR, yeah. Some uh, have gone uh, integration. So let's say they're in the manufacturing of crackers and biscuits. So they integrated backwards and created their own mill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that it can feed directly to their line. But flour is generally produced here in the Philippines. We don't uh, uh, Flour is import. produced in the sense that it's milled from wheat kernel. Mm -hmm. But the wheat kernel we could not produce. Galing yan sa US, sa Europe, Canada, Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, even India, even China, even Russia. Mm -hmm. 
And it is something that the Philippines, maybe because of the weather, can yeah, produce. Yeah. yeah, in the same way that they could not do rice the way we do rice, mm. or they could not do, for example, mangoes, we can do mangoes. Mm. May geographic differentiation. So I see. So it is a, a lot of it. How many percentage uh, is uh, being imported? As far Everything, one hundred percent. We are the world's uh, second largest importer of wheat. Mm -hmm. The Philippines is the world's second largest importer of wheat. So, kahit na yung paggawa ng pandesal, yung ingredient nun, talagang imported din yon. So, a component of that is imported. Uh, usually, in baking, it's flour, water, salt, yeast, and sugar. Yung sugar is from Philippines. Mm -hmm. Water, it's there, mm -hmm. water in the top. Salt is, we have a lot of yes. salt. And yeast, we import. We import There's yeast. nobody making yeast here. Yes. Although French baker, we're doing our own natural yeast. Mm -hmm. We, we culture our own yeast. Ah, okay, local sources na. No, oh, we you, culture you from the, own. Okay. Uh, we culture from a dough. Okay. But that's another story. That's artisan baking with sourdough. Wow, perfect. And then flour, we have to import 100%. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why I couldn't come earlier because I attended the launching of Pinoy Coco Pandesal together with DOST, DTI, DA, PCA, and VCOP. Mm -hmm. These are the collaborators who 60 days ago asked for a call to action. What do we do in the face of imminent decline in the supply of wheat in the world? Mm -hmm. So we got together and said, maybe we can substitute our pandesal with a little bit of coconut flour. Mm -hmm. So they asked me, the OST and DTI and uh, PCA, I said, okay, let me try, give me mm. sample. So I was able to successfully adopt 10% blend with 90% wheat flour to make the pandesal. And so it worked. So that's 90% uh, flour and 10% coconut. coconut. Yeah. How does it taste? Oh, fabulous. Would you easily determine which is which? Mas malinam nam. Oh, really? Uh, so that's a good alternative. Yes. So it now is cheaper than the well, ones. Both are expensive flowers. But why did we not do it in the past? Dahil the coconut flower used to be very expensive. Mm -mm. Byproduct ng VCO, virgin coco, coconut oil, is coconut flour. Oh, oh. So, you process mo pa rin doon? Kailangan may bumili ng oil. Oh. If nobody bought virgin coconut oil, wala kang byproduct. Wala kang byproduct. Ergo, mm -hmm. wala kang input sa pandesal. Mm -hmm. So now, the coconut industry people, they, they promise to look for bigger markets for, for their VCO. Okay, which so is that the they virgin, can bring uh, down coconut. the price of the cocoa flour. Okay, you mentioned that uh, this new innovation is 90-10 in favor of uh, the... Could be 80-20. Uh, Yun. Yun Could ang be 70-30. So, malalakyan pa yung coconut uh, component. Yes, and when I mentioned that in my speech, actually it was, I, I excited a lot of people. I even mentioned that crackers and biscuits, pulveron, mm -hmm. Um, simple cakes, mm -hmm. thickening sauces, for example, uh, the crust for blueberry cheesecake, uh, empanada, could take in as much as 50%. Wow. So in short, um, that could be a reason um, for us to address, you know, the... Food security. Food yeah, security. Okay. So, so, sorry, that's the key. Food security. Yes. Similar to this uh, tuna and sardines industry, yung sa pinag-usapan din po namin yung food security at siyempre yung presyo. So nakasunod pa um, John Lu yung uh, pagtataas ng presyo ng langis at saka dahil nga dulot ng um, Russia-Ukraine conflict at saka siyempre lalong tumataas dahil nga doon din sa mga iba pang uh, uh, problema katulad ng dahil may importation tayo yung mataas ngayon yung ano yung dolyar so paano po yon what is your outlook and how are how is the industry affected by this 
Cesar, first of all, I'm really very happy that our economic managers really know their business mm -hmm. and they're open for business as well. Mm -hmm. Let's take for the example my former teacher, mm -hmm. Philip Medaglia, Dr. Okay. Medaglia. Okay. Uh, former professor in the college, School of Economics. I came from the College of Business. Mm -hmm. We were both there in the 80s and 90s, mm -hmm. young and still very uh, able to do things. He's now the central bank governor. Mm -hmm. He made one very interesting point. It's not because of a weak peso, but because of a strong dollar. Mm -hmm. No? People do not really understand him or did not understand him until people started to think deeper into what he said. Mm -hmm. So this is what every businessman must now think about. A strong peso will mean that the central bank will have to raise interest rates. That's right. The moment we raise interest rates, which is supposed to be a cure for inflation, and inflation is not yet that bad, you mm -mm. prematurely raise it to the extent that will strengthen the peso because it's weakening against the dollar. Mm -hmm. And the economy will suffer. When interest rates go up, investments go down, hiring goes down, mm -hmm. importation becomes expensive but serves as an incentive to produce locally, like ourselves. and. Uh, Flip side, OFW remittances, convert it to more pesos, become fuel for purchasing power. Yeah, pero John Lu, alam din naman natin na two sides yun, di ba? May mga nakikinabang at merong hindi dahil sa pagwiwikan ng peso at stronger dollar. So, pagdating sa maliliit na negosyo, halimbawa, yung mga gumagawa, yung mga bakery sa tapat ng bahay namin, so, Ano ang epekto ng, ng mga ito sa kanila? So talaga bang sila rin ba? Talagang i -re reduce na rin ba nila yung mga sizes ng pandisal nila? Kasi di ba parang ang pandisal noon, nung ako yung may buhok pa sir, talagang malaki. E ngayon, talagang kakapiranggot na lang. So paano maapektuhan ang mga maliliit na negosyante? It's good you talk about you know this... Uh, you know how how the new economic managers are balancing you know what's good for the country and what's good for businesses but i am just concerned how our small businesses the small panaderias and the small bakeries on you know this economic situation okay panawagan na lang sa lahat ng mga panadera diyan mga kuya <laughs> mga tito mga tatay mga lolo kung talagang gusto niyo yung palaguin ng business niyo Kayo na mismo magmanage. Don't think that by hiring somebody, you will solve the problem instantly. Ang bakery business, para yang isang project, going on every day yan, open for business yan. So the moment, like me, I'm proud wearing my outfit, it reminds me that I still have a duty today mm -hmm. to see the bakery, to watch uh, everything happening, Mm -hmm. And before I go home, before I take it out, I will tell myself, oh, I did a good job. Mm -hmm. Maganda yung bread, nabake ng maayos, nakinig yung baker. At most importantly, may business. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, that's the problem now. Everything is going up. Ask yourself this. Did you save enough money in the past? Fats, to make sure that you, will, you are able to go through this crisis. Diba? Mm. Kaya tayo, kung may personal savings, dapat may concept din ng business savings. Mm -hmm. Bakit pag personal, may savings ka? Sabi nga nila, eh, oh, ha, financial planning, lahat tayo kailangan. Para hindi kayo magka-problema, kailangan. Tulad natin, Cesar, Padre de Familia, do you have cash resources for the, the, at least six months? Mm -hmm. If you for some reason, cannot continue to work. Mm -hmm. If you don't, start planning for it, saving. <laughs> if you do, maybe make it to 12. Yeah. And make sure you don't invest recklessly. Mm -hmm. Done. It's a business. Bakit lahat eh? Kung personal, meron business wala. Mm -hmm. Eh, hindi ba business, buhay din. Tama. 
So, kailangan nagtabi rin sila. Mm -hmm. Meron ka na ba pang rent, pang kuryente, pang tao. Importante pang romat. So, kung tumas man lang bumaba, kung may ka, meron kang konting pondo, ma, masasave mo yung business. Mm -hmm. Hindi yung after one week na pagtaas ng, ng harina at asukal, wala na. Magtataas na ako ng presyo, paliliti ng tinapay. Eh, ang daming kalaban dyan sa kabarangay. Mm -hmm. What you cannot do, they will do better. That's right. Then they become the victims. Mm -hmm. Magiging hindi open for business na. Yes. And oh, not open for business. <laughs> uh -huh. Diba? So, concept. Do you have business savings? This is where mm -hmm. you will have to tap in during bad times. In the history of bakery and the, the raw materials in the Philippines, what goes up came down. Mm -hmm. What goes up? At some point, about eight years ago, if I'm not mistaken, flour went as much as 1,100. What year was that? I think it was uh, 2010. Mm -hmm. Okay. And about 2010, 2012, that time. It mm -hmm. went so high because of crop failure. Mm -hmm. It eventually went down so low up to about 500 something to 600 something. Wow. So, if you did not have savings to tide you over and you shut down prematurely mm -hmm. and then the pro commodity goes down, mm -hmm. do you think you can still jumpstart your business? Wala na. Mm -hmm. Dead. Mm -hmm. Sayang mm -hmm. naman yung 20 years life mo. That's right. But, John Lu, for the big businesses, like for example, the Phil Baking Group, uh, this is an association of large... Big, uh, big very large, large uh, uh, producers of bread. Exactly. So, um... Definitely, you did that. I'm sure you have a business plan. You know, you did that. Meron kami kasing bank line. Okay. Tinanong ni Cesar kasi small eh. Yes, yes. So, yun, meron kayo. Pero, doon sa, do you have data as well on the whole industry? You know, bakeries, closing shop, or people who are employed in this industry. Na, I think PSA, PSA meron, Philippine mm -hmm. Statistics Authority. Mm -hmm. But more or less, there are about 15 to 20,000 bakers in this country. Mm -hmm. Now, 15, all of them are pra pra practical. Everybody is micro to small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Micro, small, medium. Mm -hmm. Not too many are medium. Yes. Pero ngayon po ba, how profitable? is uh, putting oh. up a bakery. Talagang tayo ba, di ba, ang sabi nila, ang Pinoy, pag walang kanin or walang tinapay, parang hindi na mabubuhay. Or nagahanap siya. Mga OFWs nga natin. O kaya yung iba nga, nagbabakasyon lang. Pagdating dito sa Pilipinas, ang gusto, tinapay agad o kanin. Ano po yung masasabi nyo dito? Ang community bakery, ang kanilang challenge is the fact that Kung nagtayo sila ng isang bakery, yung buong pamilya doon na nag-aasa sa kita. So, depende sa, la, sa size ng market nila. Mm -hmm. Kung bebenta lang sila ng 1,500, 2,000, siguro kulang pa sa sweldo na ibibigay sa baker. <laughs> so, kailangan sila na yung maging panadero. Mm -hmm. Do you know that in other Asian countries, Bakers are, bakeries are really owned by the owners themselves. Mm -hmm. Sila na nagbibake, sila nagtitinda, sila nagpopondo. Mm -hmm. To lessening overhead costs. Uh, mm -hmm. Because in a family, you can take the shocks. Mm -hmm. So you don't pay yourself for a few weeks, I'm okay. <laughs> in the bakery, in the commercial, you don't pay them for a few weeks, dole. <laughs> True. <laughs> yun, di ba? Uh, yes. Oh, edi, siyempre, eh, pag na, nangyari yun, edi, edi, pasahin ko na lang para wala ng problema. Ganun naman. Mm. So, yung small business, daming umaasa sa isang malit na bakery. So, ang suggestion ko talaga is, kanina sinabi ko, maging conscious kayo, maglaan kayo ng 100 savings a week. Tabi na lang, tabi. Don't touch it. Don't mm -hmm. touch it. Kasi dadating ang araw, baka hindi ka na makakuha ng credit. Mm -hmm. Doon sa supplier ng flour at saka lard at saka asukal, as in, mm -hmm. So, meron kang kasariling pondo. Secondly, go beyond pandesal. Mm -hmm. 
Yan, oh, magandang usapan niya. Eh kung niya. ginawa mo naman pork oh, floss oh. eh, hindi presyong pandesal. <laughs> <laughs> o oh, kasi may mga ibang ingredients ka pa. And the technology is the same. Oh. Parang you know how to paint, why don't you become a Michelangelo? <laughs> okay. Oh, hanggang painting lang, oh, di. You know what I mean, no? Oh? Gumawa kayo ng cookies na parang Mrs. F. Huwag na natin sabihin <laughs> kasi na yan. Ah, diba? Ah, okay. Pero, Maganda yung markup. Which is exactly my next... So how profitable, says? How? Ayan. Oh, ayan. In a community bakery, the profitability really depends not so much on the markup, but, but the size of the market. Maski na gist this, singko-singko. Pag makabenta ka ng sampung sako dyan, nako, millionaire ka na. Mm-hmm. Pero kung maganda yung technical markup mo, kunyari cost times 2 to 3, ay bibili lang 300 pandesal a day. Anong kikitain mo doon? Mm-hmm. Di ba? <laughs> so when you talk of the size of the market, di ano pa rin yun, yung ibang elements pa rin ng business, uh, it has to be in a good position, location. For peace. For peace. Oh, yun pa rin yun. Oh, it's the same. Product, pro- oh. yes. It's the same. I business, see. Bi- Business rules apply to all businesses, mm. uh, regardless of race, nationality. Lo- no, it, it, business is business. Mm. Pero maganda yung sinasabi mo dyan, Luna. Parang somehow there's product diversification. Sabi mo nga, huwag oh, ka lang aasa sa pandesal. Kayo, based on research, please correct it na lang po kung may problema sa figure. 33 years na Mm-mm. ang business ninyo. So, Ano ba yung mga ano ano ba yung mga sikreto niyo bakit humaba ng ganito is it the is it the money in your bank or is it how good you are in baking or is it the number of you know branches na that you have set up i heard that you have 60 branches all over the More country na, it's reaching 70 na okay. kasi nag open for business ding economy eh yeah so nice ano yun oh, anong sikreto mo ano which one of those elements when i started Tamang-tama, pumapasok yung SM sa Moling. Okay. So, si ta- the late Tatang Si mm-hmm. was uh, a good friend of my late father, mm-hmm. Raimundo. Mm-hmm. They grew up in the same era, in the 40s, 50s, after the war, ganun, Japanese occupation. Mm-hmm. So, I was invited to join the SM group mm-hmm. sa, sa mall. The nice thing about that is that when the consumers accepted you in the mall, and the malls are growing like, like mushrooms all over, they tend to consider you as a major brand, mm-hmm. that you must be in their stable or collection of brands. Okay. So as far as expansion is concerned, I did not have to worry about it. Kung baga templated Kung na yan. Kung nasaan na si SM, Andiyan nandun ako. ka na. I eh, lagi akong tinatabi sa kay... Paano the, po kayo nagkakilala ni Sir Henry C? Hindi, dahil ch- children nila used to be same schoolmate as us. I see. As us. And that was in... Savior School. Savior, okay. I see. And so, um, it was very easy. Chinoy eh, mm-hmm. di ba? Same value, yes. same school. And so, it's not easy for us to take advantage of that. Probably, the other thing that 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 proved to be more successful was that hindi ako nag diversify into real estate into warehouse building hindi ako nagtayo ng sariling mall hindi ako nagtayo ng supermarket hindi ako tayo mm. ng parental wala basta yun lang ginawa ko nag focus ka doon until i came to meet the owners of chat time okay dahil at that time i was already looking at something else, what complements this business? And as a food and bakery, kailangan ko beverage. Mm-hmm. Then I met the owners in Taiwan. Mm-hmm. When they saw my operation, within the same week, they approved my franchise. <laughs> wow. So anong tiningnan nila? Parang track record din. Where you are, who are, who are your... The way I talk. So when I met them in uh, Mega Mall, I said, I surprised them with seven cupcakes. <laughs> because in all cultures, they all believe in the number seven. Okay, okay, that's good. Lucky uh, seven. Uh, uh, so, binilang Mga ko, Taiwanese ito. Uh, C-H-A-T-I-M-E. Wow, sakto, cha time. So, I told my baker, 
gawa ka ng dali dali gawa ka ng ano cupcake dali dali tapos uh, gumami ka ng butter icing C H A T I M E just lagi mo sa long plate ha so mo po sila strangers suddenly sinabi ko welcome to Manila uh, you can see the oh ah! exit <laughs> with chat time uh, and that's the name of the brand oh. and they i was being vetted against four other contenders So you can see the passion I and the creativity be, be, behind me. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to say that, okay, if you're looking at bank book, maybe I will lose. Because the two other groups asking for the distributorship probably are five times my size. But they cannot be five times my creativity, <laughs> five times my humor, and five, ty- five times my intellect. Mm-hmm. Because I myself did it mm-hmm. and I could do it to you. Mm-hmm. So one week after, wow! They said, "Please come to Taiwan. Let's start training now." Wow, interesting. So all the ingredients of cha time are coming from Taiwan. Taiwan, yeah. I see. Is there any local component here as well? Uh, the sugar. Oh, just the sugar. Uh-huh. Okay. Now you're passionate. Of course, you have to put in creativity, intellect, business planning, all of that. Pero ano naman yung mga problema sa pagtatayo ng isang bakery. Ano naman yung aasahan na siguradong magkakaproblema ka? Dito pumasok si Mr. Chito Chavez ng Federation of Filipino Bakers. Okay. Sabi niya, John Lu, tulungan mo naman ako magtayo tayo ng honest to goodness bakery school sa Cuenca, Batangas. Okay. Sabi ko, yeah, sure. Kailangan mo talaga education. Without education, the owners will not have profitable return on investment. Mm-hmm. Parang nagtayo ka ng butika, kailangan may pharmacy, di ba? Mm-hmm. Nagtayo ka ng machine shop, kailangan may mechanical engineer o kaya mechanic. Mm-hmm. Magdating sa baker, bahala na kung makisi ka na, lala, lala, masa ka. <laughs> Eh, sa pagmamasa ka niya, akala mo, okay yan. Yung pala, over naman. Yung ano, under. Wala. Walang science. Kailangan mo ng siyensya sa baking. Kapag sila ay nakakaintindi ng siyensya, yung product, in a very short time, they can correct the error, correct the mistake, bring down the cost of production, mm-hmm. and create more products. Mm-hmm. ba? Diba? May school. Kailangan mo, school teacher. Mm-hmm. Bakery, sino kailangan mo? Interview. Anong trabaho? Eh, bagger po sa ano. Okay. Anong trabaho mo? Uh, ano po? Driver, pero... Sige, kawawa yung master baker mo. Imagine mo having to train six months. Mm-mm. But if somebody has like technical training, oh, may training ako sa ganito. Oh, yeah. Sige. Mm-hmm. Sige, let's work. Mm, sige. Counting table skills, kuha na. Mixing skills, kuha na. Oven skills, kuha na. Easy. Mm-hmm. So the product they make, on average, will have better quality. Mm-hmm. And better quality means what? Better business and better loyalty. Mm-hmm. The egg pie from that corner is so good. Because the, the poor fellow finally realized that when you mix a pastry flour, it is always fat and flour, flour before liquid not the other way around mm-hmm. if you put <laughs> if you put liquid and flour then fat you don't have a crust you have a dough mm-hmm. so just that alone mm-hmm. so if they have technical knowledge wow they can get paid better and the one investing can expand the business and become more profitable With what you mentioned, John, I'm understanding now that you know there are very stringent then specific measurements and specific uh, some sort of a standard. So, ito ba sa inyo uh, sa dami ng branches nyo nakapapel narin ba ito? Are there? Um, and then you talked about education, you talked about training, like in some you know franchise organizations, talagang by the book. So, ang baking business ba ganun din? Kumbaga, it has to be exact, it has to be accurate. I'll just give an example for those bakers who know. If you're baking, you have to be conscious about your environment. 
it's not only enough enough to know what is the heat in the oven. You should know also what's the temperature inside your bakery. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you have to know the quality of the water. Mm -hmm. Whether it's hard or it's soft. Hard water means in the presence of a lot of minerals. Calcium, magnesium, sodium, etc. Soft water, the absence of. Because it reacts to live yeast. If you have too much mineral, it reacts to live yeast. Fermentation is very fast. It can destroy the, the, the dough before it reaches the oven. That much, the person should know. We teach that. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we are, very, we are very particular. We apply the concept of pH in the dough we make. Mm -hmm. So for example, this dough, we correlate pH, how basic or how alkaline or how, how acidic the dough is. There is a range within which you will make better bread. Mm -hmm. So we are very, very specific. Anong pH mo, Baker? Mm -hmm. So we have a pH meter. So they have to tell me, mm -hmm. what's the pH of your baguette today? Your uh -huh. sourdough today? Your French boule today? Etc., etc. That part, we have to know. It's the same thing as maybe if you're an airline mechanic, they will <laughs> tell you, cap, before you take off, I want to tell you, that the pressure of your <laughs> pneumatic pre blah blah is 32. Oh, good, thank you. They should know why it applies only to aircraft. It can apply to the bakery mm. to bring down the cost of production, to bring down the fault, the probability of total failure. So there is science and technical knowledge behind. So mm. to answer the question, how profitable? If you can grapple this with these issues, you'll be king of your mountain in no time. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wait for 33 years. But I grappled with it 33 years. Dahil nag part-time, I know. My other job was a uh, full-time faculty member ng College of Business for 15 years. I see. But after that, I quit. Then I focused and said, what's the science part? So mm -hmm. I went around the world to learn. All mm -hmm. over. Italy, Belgium, France, Germany, mm -hmm. Netherlands. I was in Hong Kong. I was in uh, uh, Osaka, then in Tokyo. Oh, uh, all over, only because of my thirst for more knowledge. Because I know that it is only through knowledge and the use of science that I can overcome mm -hmm. almost all technical problems with baking. Mm -hmm. Because a recipe is very good only if you have exact same ingredients. Mm -hmm. And if it is baked at the same place, it is baked with the same mixer, the same oven. But no, it's shipped. 10,000 miles away. Mm. Then you have to work with high humidity. What do you do? Oh, I was 32 and, oh, what do I do? Nung araw, mahal ng long distance. Now I know. Uh, pero, sa, sa, hina, sa dinami-dami ng napuntahan mo with all the knowledge that you have learned, um, meron ka bang na-develop din, nakakaiba, na lasa, na pang Pinoy? Ano yung mga tingin mo na or have you created uh, some sort of a recipe that you can say, oh, ito, Pinoy brand ito, at saka may tatak dyan, lukuha ito. Yung crack pandesal, 33 years and counting. Kakaiba talaga yung lasa. There is a secret. But I will share the secret. We don't use straight dough. We use pre-fermented dough. Mm -hmm. That takes time. So bakit baking? between one hour and waiting for another six hours, that six hours can develop fermentate, fermentative flavor, mm -hmm. which is something you cannot make by just mixing ingredients together. Mm -hmm. It's not the same. So that when you put it in your mouth, my bread, and it starts to get mixed and chew, it will exude a certain kind of mouth feel, aroma, flavor, and the receptors of your tongue will tell you, wow, why does it taste good even if it did not have sugar? Mm -hmm. But there is sugar in flour. We're using the sugar in flour, ferment it, and bring out its natural flavor. And that's wow. everything. Wow, the, the way you explain it, it's <laughs> salivating that I wanted to eat. But ang question ko ngayon, John Lu, is this. 
marami din ng mga fresh bread concepts katulad nung babalikan ko yung sinabi mo na oh, you go beyond pansidisal so and i'm sure you have you know you have this creativity to diversify so ito ba ay konsepto din ng marketing na you don't have to present uh, one product but create different products in the same or different styles or variants in the same category. What is the contribution of that, of product presentation halimbawa in your business? You're right, Cesar. Experience is everything, but it boils down to quality. Are you after one-time purchase or multiple purchases? Mm -hmm. I think one-time purchase is not solid. Because you prepared for the customer only to buy once. So you're going to tire yourself down doing exceptionally hard job just to keep on attracting new customers. Ang hirap. The best customer is the guy that looks, comes in and say, give me this, 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 and make sure you have this. Mm -hmm. That's the best customer because his habitual buying can help me in planning for my production. That's the kind of market we want. We hate mm -hmm. people coming in and say, I buy everything. <laughs> Why? I, I may rally. <laughs> <laughs> and then, magagalit na yung, oh my goodness, you know, it takes six, eight hours to make bread. Ganong katagal, no? So, going back to that question, I believe that everybody who wants to go into bakery must be dead serious. That it's mm -hmm. not a walk in the park. It's not a joke. It is a business that has a life. Mm -hmm. To give life, you have to nurture it. And to nurture it, you have to give knowledge, technical skill, financing. And to the customer, you have to display something. What is the something? In marketing, we talk about being close to the customer. Mm -hmm. The closeness or the, the closeness to the customer can only mean one thing. He likes your bread to be mm -hmm. part of his sandwich. Tama. He likes your bread to be part of his meal, without which his meal is not complete. Mm -hmm. So you are part of his life. If you're able to achieve that, you will have a lifetime of business. That's what will spell your marketing success over a lifetime. But if you're only wanted when she gets married, she married, she marries once. <laughs> so every time you have to look for new, new brides, ang hirap naman, no? Oh, oh, grabe ang analogy mo. You know, but John Lu, eto na naman, meron na namang napipinto na pagtataas daw. At um, katulad nga nang nababasa din namin sa mga pahayagan na sinasabi mo din. So, ikaw minsan, in the field baking uh, group, you always announce price increases. So, with with uh, you know there's a excitement here in the Philippines because of the new leadership but there is also uh, this impact of the uh, fuel price increases sa tingin mo ba uh, papalo pa ng mas mataas ang presyo ng mga tinapay natin Cesar I can assure you that lahat ng mga bakers sa grupo namin they're only trying their best to keep costs down because of this universal law of demand and supply. When you keep on increasing and it goes beyond the reach of the consumer, then your product will have a very strong possibility that it will be substituted for by other carbohydrates, mm -hmm. particularly rice. One kilo rice is equivalent to two kilos cooked rice. So think about that. Mm -hmm. If you don't eat bread, you eat rice, 40 peso can give you two kilos of cooked rice. 40 peso can buy you one loaf of half a kilo of bread. Mm -hmm. So think about that. So there is also the demand curve that is going to temper. As bakers, we cannot just increase. This is foolish. If you increase blindly without looking at competition, mm -hmm. yeah. about uh, market forces, you don't want to do that because you want to have 
loyal customers throughout the life of the brand. That's why I always tell my members, and they tell me too, that thanks for reminding them for having a long-term view. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, if you thought that every day would be typhoon, mm -hmm. I probably would think you will not even want to live in this country. <laughs> but how about the days when we had beautiful Boraca, Boracay beaches? <laughs> but one day, Boracay will have storm. Then let the storm pass and come back. Ganun din lang naman ang business. Mm -hmm. Kaya ito yung important thing na try to have business savings so that when something happens, use the fat to fund the, 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 the deficit. Mm -hmm. You increase your price now, somebody comes in, you lose that market. You don't increase your price now, you lose working capital, you default on your debts, you're so forced to shut though. down. Mm -hmm. So, just the right increase at the right time without, without offending, so to speak, your customer. Mm -hmm. So what's two pesos? What's two pesos these days? But you increase 10? Come on, that's too much naman. Mm -hmm. But what's two peso? It's like between a friend and you, what's a little consideration? Mm -hmm. Dating 40, 42, 50. Pwede na yan. Mm -hmm. In fact, sa supermarket, pag may konting change nga, sinasabi ko na doon sa kahera, sabi ko, keep the change. Alam nga naman, <laughs> ako pa ang mag-keep the change. <laughs> Siyempre sa'yo na. And then two peso, huwag mo na akong suklian. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're running out of time, John. Ito na lang. May mga... Uh, consumers ngayon na health conscious na tsaka meron din yung mga ibang produkto na talagang uh, masustansya, di ba? Kahit sa ibang bansa, meron na tayo din yata nun, yung Nutriban and all this. Nakikita mo ba na yun ang magiging trend din? Because people would want, you know, to, especially with the COVID-19 pandemic, you know, a lot of people are now into health and wellness, fitness. What is the role of your, the differ, different brands of the bakeries and ensuring also that yung mga pandisal natin sa mga, mga Pilipino ay talagang makakapag-maintain din ng kanilang magandang kalusugan. Well, yung ginawa namin sa Pinoy Pandisal and Pinoy Tasty ng field baking, over the last uh, 12 years, we have gradually reduced the level of sugar. Mm -hmm. And in fact, about three years ago or four years ago, we started using brown sugar. Mm -mm. How much sugar did you reduce? Uh, altogether, already probably close to 15 percent. Oh, that's the So, because we wanted to let, to, to make it less sweet. At first, it is so sweet, then very gradual, maybe every two years, we reduced 1 percent, 1 percent, 1 percent, until the palate gets used to it. And about healthy bread, there are so many schools of thought. The, are you keto? Are you low sugar? Mm -hmm. Are you low fat, reduced fat? So are you gluten-free? So may kanya-kanyang thoughts yan. My take there is that the market is very slim. Mm -hmm. If it's profitable, go into it. Bakers who feed into that market must focus on personal selling but if mass selling you put it in the shelves few people buy it's returned back to you cost of production is high you lose money so generally to the public i will tell you that choose bread that's not sweet and if you like it just reduce the frequency to eat the healthiest ikanga would be breads with very low fat and very low sugar if not zero like the French, the baguette is zero fat, zero sugar. But how many people can? <laughs> so that's another question. But okay. if you want, the products are there. Okay, we'll go to this segment called Memory Lane. Uh, what is your best memory of, I have five in the list. What is your best memory of SM North Edsa? My best memory is to see the late Tatang C very frequently in the mall. He would come, pat my back and say, young man, continue to do what you're doing. And I would give him uh, root beer. 
anything you give him a start root beer, he will take it. <laughs> okay. What is your best memory of the the the, the label in your uh, shirt, Paris, pra France? Uh, I love Paris. It is I don't know why, but I'm exceptionally happy when I'm there, and I get very creative. And it is uh, the basis of my existence. And is that the inspiration why you named it the French yes, Baker? Yes, yes. Basis for existence doesn't mean that I have to breathe. It's just that it excites me and it makes my, me more passionate about what I'm doing. Mm. And when I go there and I, and I compare myself with the rest of the bakers, then I can place where I am. I'm not 100, but I'm close to 90. Perfect. <laughs> Self-learning how to bake. Oh, lots of burns. I still have it here all over, my oh. goodness. I have a whole map of burns and cuts. <laughs> Market research. Oh, fun and tiring. I used to teach that course. Originality, being the first. It's like going to the moon. Very uncertain and fearful. But once you touch soil, all the heartaches are gone. Perfect. On that note, uh, we would like to request you to uh, also address our consumers and you know, give uh, some more maybe top three tips on uh, staying afloat, surviving the pandemic, and your entrepreneurial tips. And hopefully, like you, they will move into their 34th year in business. Yes, um, thank you sa mga nanonood. Uh, first of all, sa lahat ng customers ng mga members namin, thank you sa business nyo, yung mga tinapay ng field baking members. Talagang quality and really, it's work of love. Dahil yung bakery business, napakahirap. It's a one-day work to make a loaf bread. So when we deliver it to you, uh, it's always fresh and waiting for you to buy it just at the price that gives us enough incentive to stay into business. Hindi naman kami profiteering dahil lahat ng cost ay tumataas. Gusto lang namin makontinue lang yung what we love to do best. Secondly, yung mga panadero dyan, kung kayo maliliit lang, wala namang kinalaman sa size. Sana pumunta kayo sa YouTube, ang daming ideas dyan. Adapt what you think will work for you. Make something different. You can, with the same dough, make a filling. You can make it bigger, smaller, but not smaller because the price increase. Smaller kasi gagawin as kanape. Bigger, pwedeng pang hospital. Mas big, baka pang burger store na gusto mag log. You never know. Ideas lang, and then always open for change because change is the only thing that is certain. And tulad ng sinabi ko, kung may personal savings kayo, dapat may personal savings ang business. Dahil business has a life of its own, like you have a life of your own. Kung ikaw ay may savings, sila rin dapat may savings ang business. Ang pinaka-importante, ang mga suppliers natin, take care of them. Sila yung magbibigay ng buhay, sila yung magbibigay ng credit assistance, sila rin ang magbibigay ng ideas. Dahil from flour, you can do a million ideas, and if you just do one, eh, madali kang kopya yun, eh, baka bukas, eh, mawala na yung market mo. Thank you very much. Napakarami nating natutunan ngayong araw na ito. That's Mr. John Lucua. Maraming salamat po. The founder and CEO of the French Baker and the president of Field Baking. Open for Business will be back. Stay with us. Kung kayo ay may kinalang grupo o individual na may natatanging paraan na pagresponde, iparating sa amin sa pamagitan po ng text sa 0915-415-1035 o mag-email sa responde at net25.com. Pwede rin kayo magpadalahan ng mensahe sa ating Facebook page at Net25TV. Hintayin po namin ang inyong po mensahe. Mapapanood nyo kami sa mga sumusunod ng mga channels. Sábado, 
alas 6 hanggang alas 7 ng gabi. Ito ang Responde Mata ng Mamamayan. Open for business is back and our biz word is market research. It is the process of determining the viability of a new service or product through research conducted directly with potential customers. Market research allows a company to discover the target market and get opinions and other feedback from consumers about their interest in the product or service. Tayong mga Pilipino ay mahilig sa tinapay at ang ating panlasa ay hindi basta-basta. Kaya ang katatagan at pagtatagumpay ng The French Baker ay hindi matatawaran na kamit nito ang tiwala ng mga mamimili at naging kilala sa buong bansa. And with that, our quote of the week is, Success comes to those who prepared well to meet the opportunity. We hope that this episode will inspire more Filipinos to start up their businesses and pursue entrepreneurship. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood ng Open for Business. Thank you to our guest, Mr. John Lucua. Salamahan ninyo kaming muli sa Open for Business sa susunod na linggo. Learn more insights from CEOs, thought leaders, industry experts, and SMEs promoting business development in the Philippines, keeping you informed and open for business. Be ahead of the curve from vision to action. Panoorin din ang programang OFB sa Facebook at YouTube. Mag-like at mag-subscribe sa aming social media at Net25 TV. Ako po si Cesar Vallejos para sa Open for Business. Thank you so much. You're welcome.